In this video, I will show you how SpecOps Secure Service Desk minimizes the risk for false user verification when resetting passwords at the service desk. Key features and capabilities that will be shown include user verification enforcement, resetting a password securely, and tracking user verification. We'll begin by showing the service desk technician's experience when receiving a call from an end user who states their account is locked out and that they need their password reset. The service desk can search for the user based on their account name, email address, or real name to bring up the user's details and begin the verification process. We will see on the user results page that the service desk is presented with a number of options under both quick and advanced verification with which they can verify the identity of the end user. We will also note that the areas to reset the user's password, unlock their account, or manage their enrollment are disabled until verification is complete. Quick Verification sends a one-time six-digit password to the caller that must be read back and entered by the service desk technician to complete verification. We can send the code to a mobile phone number, corporate managed email, or personal email address. The personal email address is either entered by the administrator or the end user during a self-enrollment process. Under advanced verification, we will see identity services that are a bit more involved than a one-time password. Manager identification provides a mechanism where the user can send their manager, as configured in AD, a one-time link where the manager can verify the authenticity of the end user. We can also tie into third-party enterprise services such as Duo Security, Okta Verify, and Semantic VIP for authenticating callers. Here we will demonstrate quick verification via mobile code. The service desk will click send to generate a text message to the end user. Once the caller receives the one-time code, they will read it back for the service desk to enter and click verify to complete the verification process. We will see now that the reset password, unlock user, and enrollment areas are now accessible by the service desk technician. The service desk can now unlock the user's Active Directory account, as well as proceed to reset the user's Active Directory password. On the Password Reset page, we will see the password policy requirements from either the Active Directory or SpecOps password policies. The service desk will have the option to either type in a new password manually or click the Generate button to auto-generate a new password that meets the policy requirements. The service desk can also send the new password to the end user via either email or text to avoid reading the new password aloud, as well as require that the user change the password the next time they sign in. Optionally, administrators can set a secure service desk to prevent technicians from seeing or typing the new password. They can only generate and send it directly to the end user. Finally, we will review the reporting and auditing options available. Here we will see administrators can view the number of password resets, account unlocks, and identity verifications completed by the service desk. We can also audit individual events showing password resets, account unlocks, and identity verifications. Each event will show the object GUIDs of the user and service desk user involved.